I've already talked about the usage of since in order to suggest a starting point in some duration in comparison with for. Uh, today I like to talk about the usage of since as a preposition, as a conjunction, as an adverb, and also as a phrase or as an idiom. Since as a preposition, both the present and past perfect tenses are used with since in order to suggest a starting point in some duration, in order to suggest a specified time in the past, until a little past, or until long. For example, a very simple sentences. It has been raining since Monday. A day is referred. I have known him since Sunday. A day has been referred and she has been ill since a Friday. Very well known. Even a date, even a date can be used as a starting point. For example, he has been writing a fiction since 2nd January in 2022. Even we use, often we use a year as a starting point. For example, he has been working here since 1996. But the important fact is that after since, we can write, we can refer to an event, a situation, an occurrence as a specific as a specific time, as a specified time in the past. For example, I have not eaten since breakfast. I have not eaten since breakfast. And in the same way, he has been working in the bank. He has been working in the bank since leaving college. So after since, present participle is used, that is leaving, and college, that is object. So in that way, in spite of, uh, instead of date, month, year, we can use a particular occurrence or situation or an event along with scenes in order to suggest a uh, specific, uh, specific time. And even it is and it was, these structures can be used with scenes. For example, it is a long time since the last meeting. We often use it is a long time since the last meeting. It is a long time since the last meeting. And similarly, it has been a long time since the last meeting, present perfect tense. And it was the structure we can use. So for example, it was ages, it was ages since our last game of football. A long time. It was ages since our last game of football. And the interesting part of the usage of since is that it can be used as a conjunction. Of course, as a subordinate in conjunction. And as it is a subordinate in conjunction, of course, the sentence is a complex one. And we must remember the subordinate conjunction is used in the subordinate clauses. And this subordinate clause is, of course, adverbial clause. Since, is, since can be used in the adverbial clauses. For example, Roman has not phoned, present perfect tense, so Roman has not phoned since Rita went to Mumbai. Since Rita went to Mumbai. So since Rita went to Mumbai, this is a subordinate cross. It is an adverbial cross. And since is a linker here, a subordinating, subordinating conjunction here. And similarly, another example. It, it, is, it, it was the first time. It was the first time I had visitors since I had moved into the flat. It was the first time I had visitor, visitors simple present past tense simple past tense and since i had moved into the flat past perfect tense so in that way we can use since as a conjunction in the subordinate process in the complex sentences but the important fact is that whenever since is used in the present perfect tense it can be used as a finished point of time it can be used as a finished point of time for example it is now a year since we have discussed all about our future. It is now a year since we have discussed all about our future. So, uh, we since we have discussed all about our future, or we since we have discussed discussed since we have last discussed our future. Since we have last discussed our future, this is a subordinate process. It is in present perfect tense. And this present perfect tense is used here as a finished point of time, as a finished point of time. In that way, we can write. And another thing is that in place of because and as, 
which are subordinating, subordinating conjunctions. And we know these are used in the adverbial process in place of because and as we can use since. For example, I cannot write to her because I have not got her address. We write. I cannot write to her because I have not got her address. Similarly, as I have not got her address, I cannot write to her. And we can replace because or as by since in that way. As I have not, since I have not got her address, I cannot write to her. Since I have not got her address, I cannot write to her. So since uh, this usage uh, is a very is very interesting here and it makes our sentence quite sound and uh, in that way we can use a scenes in place of because or as as a conjunction as a subordinate in conjunction in the adverbal process and to scenes can be used as an adverb and we must remember this adverb whenever since is used as an adverb of course the sentence is a compound one not a simple sentence not a complex sentence but must be a compound sentence. There are coordinate clauses. Coordinate clauses have been joined, have been joined or combined by a coordinating conjunction. And since is used in some coordinate clause. But a particular time it refers. For example, he left home two weeks ago. He left home two weeks ago and we have not heard from him since. So here since refers to the time he left home two weeks ago. Simple past tense. He left home two weeks ago. Simple past tense. And we have not heard. Present perfect tense. We have not heard from him since. So since refers to that time he left home two weeks ago. And since can be used as an idiom as a phrase and then it becomes eva since eva since a continuous time a continuous passage of time a continuous passage of time it will never end perhaps it will never end for example she has been fascinated by the insects she has been fascinated by the insects since eva since she was a child she has been fascinated by the insects eva since she was a child it is an idiom, it is a phrase. These are four usages, since as a preposition, since as a conjunction, since as an alpha, and since as ever since, ever since as a, as a phrase or as an idiom. These are the four usages. And if we know these are four usages of since, we can write deliberately and we can speak spontaneously.